This movie starts out with Jamie and Lisa having an intimate scene. Suddenly they receiving an anonymous package in front of their house, they determine that the only way to find out who it is from is to open it up. When they open it, they find a strange ventriloquist doll, they decides to keep the doll. Later on, after Jamie leaves their residence, in the home Lisa hears a get dead silent. Then starts to hear voices coming from the room where they left the doll, she creeps in there slowly, pulls back the sheet that she had used to cover up the doll. <laughs> and the doll murders Lisa. After Jamie came to home, he saw Lisa was dead, her face was horrifying and her tongue was cut. Jamie, was the prime suspect in his wife's murder, gets interrogated by the police. He returns home to look for clues. He finds some clues in the box that leads him to his hometown, also the hometown of murdered ventriloquist, Mary Shaw. After a brief visit with his rich father, and his father's new young bride. My son, what a pleasant surprise. Your father had a stroke two months ago. Jamie finds himself hearing voices in his hotel room. Jamie! <laughs> Meanwhile, at the coroner's office, the coroner, Henry Walker, is getting ready to take a picture of the latest victim while his wife, Marion Walker, is hiding in a dark hiding place mumbling. When he was about to take the picture, he was horrified by seeing victim's face. Then, they cut away to Lisa's funeral where the Marion tries to warn Jamie of the curse of the stare of Mary Shaw. Near the end of the warning, you hear her say that he must, bury the doll. Jamie then returns to the hotel, where he finds the name Billy on the back of the doll. He then immediately gets in a car, with the doll and brings it to the cemetery. After a few minutes of searching, he finds a headstone with Billy on it and starts digging. He pulls out the casket only to find it empty. Throws the doll in, who then looks right at him, and buries the doll. Jamie then gets in his car. When he starts to see shadows of something running and hearing noises, He then sees the doll looking at him through the window and decides to get out and look. But he sees nothing outside. Jamie is back at his hotel washing his face. He is drying his face and has a towel over it. When he removes the towel he finds two surprises. The doll and officer Jim Lipton are in his hotel room. The officer then begins to use the doll to annoy the prime suspect of Lisa's murder. Jamie begins to tell Lipton about the nursery poem associated with Mary Shaw. They continue to talk about the murder a bit and then Lipton leaves and takes the doll with him. Before leaving Lipton said to Jamie goodnight neighbor, Jamie goes out and sees Lipton was living next to him. In the next scene Lipton is shown shaving and talking to the doll. When Lipton leaves the hotel Jamie gets the doll back and heads over to the Henry and Marion's house to talk to them. Jamie starts talking to the coroner about Mary Shaw. When Henry says they don't mention the name Mary Shaw, the ventriloquist who lost her voice. They flash back to Mary putting on a show with the same doll. The show was really good and everyone was enjoying it. Mary and the doll, now known as Billy, get into an argument with a child in the audience. Then, back at Henry's house, he tells Jamie that the child in question ended up missing. After Mary died, she asked that she not only be buried with her dolls, but that they make her into a doll. Then they flash back to when Henry was a child, and how he went in to look at Mary's corpse and the table falls. Sending him and Mary to the ground of the coroner's office. Then he sees Mary's ghost, but covers his mouth, so as not to scream. <laughs> then, back in the present day, Henry shows Jamie pictures of a bunch of townsfolk, all murdered by having their tongues removed. Next, Jamie heads to the old rundown theater while Lipton starts digging up graves at the cemetery. Jamie finds some more clues leading him to believe the haunting is true. Meanwhile, at Henry and Marion's house, Henry walks in on Mary and talking to Billy, the doll. Henry was very shocked by seeing this. Then takes the doll from his wife and puts it in his office. Then Henry starts to hear things as he grabs a shovel. He thinks it is Marion and he apologizes to her. He then goes to look in Marion's hiding place only to get locked in. After pounding on the door for a bit, he realizes he isn't alone. He sees a hand in the corner and sees Mary's ghost. In horror he screams, 
and then is murdered in the same way as all the others. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jamie goes back to question his dad. Jamie finds out that when his uncle, the little boy from the flashback that was arguing with Mary, went missing, the townsfolk thought it was Mary that took him. They went to Mary, made her scream and then cut her tongue out.